What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. And if my calculations are correct, then today is Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to all my followers. Thank you for watching my video on Christmas Day. Although a slight uh, eyebrow cocking is taking place. You should be uh, trying to spend time with family and loved ones, particularly with Covid, because the time recently has been pretty crappy. So to pick off where we left off, we've got a very slow burn here in North Africa because we want to build up our build up our base here. So we're building a school which can get us the first burning embers of a technology development program which we can then use to take over a country such as Morocco that has a whole bunch of camels because you need squares and bayonets really. Um, plus some other general infantry or economy boosting ones. We still have to keep an eye on the on the uh, Barbary States, so we're going to send over our ship to just go raid and come back, just to keep our port open. So we did get attacked by Britain, but we managed to see them off and our army's moving back to Algiers with an eye to further, or later, to attack Morocco. But we're not going to go too fast. We're going to, we're going to build this one up. So there's probably going to be a few... Um, a lot of turns burned, really. Let's just say that. Mainly because we really can't afford to uh, screw up. So my main, my next target is going to be Morocco. But what you've got to remember, Morocco is a target of Spain. It just is. So any attack on Morocco will become a war with Spain. Which might be good, it might be bad. Okay, what do I get first? Governor's Palace or Governor's Palace here? Well, Amji is here, is earning more money and they're building a school. So I think Governor's Palace here is better spent. Money is better spent. But yeah, we're going to be burning lots of turns. Because um, obviously I just want, uh, want to get my school up and running. I want to start getting other towns popping. And I want to start maybe taking Morocco. Maybe. Yeah, mainly I just want my school working. Okay, France and Portugal are at war. Again, just keep. Pop out, take cert, and pop out. And I'm going to re-emphasize the reason why I'm not taking Tripoli. A, it's worthless. And B, it gives us a border with the Ottomans, which I don't want. So I'm content with my situation here at Tunis. For the meantime... So I'm under no illusions. I'm not going to out tech anyone there's no risk of me being able to create or build a stronger economy or a better research capacity compared to some of these other countries some of these other major powers but i'm not trying to i'm trying to get the fundamentals in square canister shot bayonets and basic uh, the basic um physio physiocracy techniques that improve town wealth because I'm so small right now, town wealth might not seem like a thing to waste my money on. But, I mean, damn, it really is. Just keep building. Farm techs are also going to be useful to help grow these towns, especially in the face of food shortages. But yeah, we don't want to grow too big and make too many enemies. If I take Morocco... It will become really dangerous because I'll be fighting against Spain, which may drag in their allies such as France. Right now, I'm not so bothered. At quite no, not not quite as bothered about what I want to do. Morocco would be nice, but I'm under no illusions. Um, declaring on Spain, may end, well, not declaring on Spain. But declaring on Morocco and then being declared on by Spain may may kill me. Because these are not wealthy regions. But at the very least I will have my army up near the Spanish. Up at the Strait of Gibraltar to cross over if they give me a chance. And we've got our school. So, first technologies. Could go military. To expand out, which isn't a bad idea could go farming to help solidify a 
population growth, which might not be a bad idea, actually. Especially as I haven't got many towns to get that town turn wealth yet. Physioxy is pretty handy. I have no plantations. Earn more wealth per farm from farms. Gains of turn, town wealth. Then I got no, I've got no industry towns. So I think, I think it makes sense to go common land enclosures to grow my ability to create these you know, there's no point growing the wealth of my towns. Granted, I've got some ports, but I want to try and grow my villages. Or really, it's actually village. Tatooine. Um, let's, let's buy the governor's palace. Eventually, declaring on Spain may end up being the best option. It's, well, not declaring on Spain. If Spain declares on me, if France doesn't join them, that might be perfect. Because then we could get access to Madrid without really annoying loads of our Catholic allies. An alternative strategy, if I can walk the line of not annoying people, it could be to sail an army around to take Britain. If, because I'm currently at war with Britain, I'm not at war with France, Morocco, Portugal or Spain. But then again, I'd have to get there in one shot. Which might be too much of, a, of an ask. Oh, I see the one time I forgot to uh, block the port from uh, Barbary States. So we didn't get much income there, which is a bummer. But let's take our little galley. Take him out, sail back. At some point I would actually like to build a fourth, right? Just to really easily knock these ships out. But I'm anticipating our... European allies stepping in and helping out there. I'm hoping someone, like Austria maybe. Ah, oh, they're fighting the Prussians. Usually, well, hopefully it'd be the Italian states. Ah, there we go, Austria's taking them out. Or well, not taking them out, but, you know, damage them. A lot of building going on in Istanbul. A lot of growth. This is where I'd like to have traded with Austria. So if I could get Austria and the Ottomans to spar off against each other. That would be very beneficial for me. At some point I think I need to... Well, my main hope is that there's a global war. And then I can pick a side... Hopefully be on the winning side, and then leave. Well, invade and take over territory. Don't don't block my territory. First gentleman. Cesar Cesar Fierro. Let's get him into the school. Okay, keep raiding their port. I'm gonna count other people destroying this guy. Not me and He's, a, he's an admiral now. Not me and my ship. I'm counting on someone else killing it. Him. Okay. So one turn. We're going to get next turn, next level building in Algiers, which will be necessary to keep order. There we go. So Austria's taken out the Barbary States. I've raided their port, so they can't recruit another ship. Life is good. I'm just mulling over my long-term plan. So I definitely want to get a handful of technologies first before moving on Morocco, because if I bugger it up, I could really be on... I could really be involved in quite a dangerous war. And I want an army in place that if I take Morocco, I am immediately ready to fight Spain, should the need occur. Which is really a question of of uh, research rather than money. So one more turn till we get the new 
farm techs. Just keep raiding the port. Just to stop them from fixing it and building ships. I don't want... I could occupy it, but I don't want to force... I don't want to trigger the AI to get used to moving troops around. I want them to keep their army in Tripoli. I don't want them to start moving their men around. Yeah, nothing else that can be built. Could try build some sixth rates and send them out to a trade zone because I'm not currently at war. But then again, my economy is poor anyway. I've only got 2,000. It would be better to start experimenting with going to the trade theatres from... We're we'll taking Morocco. And because Britain is... It's the Royal Navy, and I'm at war with the Royal Navy. Granted, it's only one major... Fa one major... Uh, power. It's still the Royal Goddamn Navy. Although I might... I might build a sixth rate and send them out. Sweden wants Tunis for peace. Nope. Yeah, they screwed me over when they bought uh, Algiers from the Barbary States. But I'm hoping... So, so, so the Barbary States are an interesting one. Sometimes they will, for no clear reason, they will send you a peace treaty. They'll just send you a peace treaty out of nowhere. And you'll go, great. Common land enclosures, good stuff. Let's build the farms to get rid of food shortages and speed up a bit of growth. Nope, you instead get into start researching canister, square, and bayonets. This guy's not good at researching military techs. He's a capering loon. Ah, yes, and my ministers. You're pretty good, actually. No one else looks like standout candidates. Well, these do tempt me just from town wealth just to get the growth up actually yeah that, I might do that instead oh no no I'll do some of the military ones I'll inter I'll interleave them military physiocracy I just want the basic text I don't want anything fancy I don't want anything fancy I don't want any I don't want any... Don't want anything fancy. Pretty much don't want to be... Don't want to bugger anything up. So start a brand new campaign. I really don't want to... I really don't want to uh, screw anything up. Especially as I've started it so recently as well. So normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry so much about being so bold with a, with a major power because you can fix what you've got quite easily. Hey, I've got another gentleman. Hopefully this guy's not quite so bad at the military side. Good, he has hop set it by a turn. Junior's got a new governor's palace. It might not be a bad idea to just start to recruit a small fleet of sixths to try to see if I could go off to a trade theatre. Maybe start to recruit a small... No, not, not a navy navy yet. My economy is small. And the reason why I'm recruiting those sixths is because I don't want an arm... I don't want a, a big navy where the payoff... Where, where the actual gain from sending resources out there isn't is worth doing, or isn't worth doing. I don't want to send a small big, a small navy of f fourth rates, because losing them would be that much more devastating. I don't mind losing some sixth rates because they're just sixth rates. I don't want to lose fourths, and I don't think I raided. Hey, Russia's taking Bulgaria and Belgrade. No. Hmm. Yeah, Morocco is going to be Morocco. B 
But yeah, in general, if I'm sending an army to be a navy, sorry, to be near as damn it disposable, I want it to be ships I don't mind losing. So I might just send them out as singletons, rather than waiting for all three. May as well just send one out. <gasps> hey, they want peace. Yes. I'll take peace. Now I don't have to worry about my port, and I don't care about taking taking uh, Tripoli, because it's a garbage ass. Region. I've got ten turns to get Tatooine, because of no, no current food shortages. Let's take Defiant, our sixth rate. Before I do that, Spices. Oh, tea's the best, but we can't get tea. Spices is the next best. Go collect path... Well, don't sail straight into it, then. You're a boat. Sail around it. One more turn to a canister shot, which is good stuff. Come on, mouse. Mouse was all... slow and rubbish. Okay. Let's repair this. No, there's no point in repairing the Jebek. It's just sat there to uh, occupy itself. Okay, so we're up to 19 hundo a turn. So let's get some colonial line. Get out, send, get ready to march them over towards Algiers. Huh. Not that I'm panicking, but does this seem like the sort of thing the AI would do? They're losing lots of ground to Russia, and they're going to decide, you know what, let's go screw over the human player. I think it could be. There's always a chance. Let's try to get a little bit of an economy boost from some spices imports. Yeah, I really hope I'm not about to get not I'm not about to get attacked by the Ottomans, but if I am, at the very least, they're getting their asses kicked by uh, Russia. send you to be honest it probably wouldn't, wouldn't be stupid to just check if there's any I can't see any trade regions can I because I've got no ships out there send you out there anyway hey we can recruit the ordnance factory to get better artillery but I don't really want it yet Twelve turns off of an ABBA being built. Nine turns from Tatooine. Again, I could build the Ordnance Factories. That's probably not the worst idea in the world to build them. To build it. Okay. Yeah, your army, your... Troops are fairly low quality, I must admit. Let's see if the Ottomans are going to uh, screw the human player. Sometimes it feels like they're in, they're listening to my microphone. Good. It makes sense, Ottomans, for you to send your ships, to send your armies against someone else and not me. Although... Weirdly, it might not be a bad time to actually declare on the Ottomans because the Russians are... If the Russians take Istanbul, then that's probably going to be a good play to make some territorial gains. Such as Cairo. Interesting. Interesting possibilities. I'm a 
fleet has arrived. Uh, Louisiana. Georgia. Uh, is that pressure? Yeah, pressure. Bad guys, run away. Also bad guys. Okay. Go to the Ivory Coast. At this point, while I can't get my main resource, I'll just take any resource at this point. Oh, they've landed to take in Morocco. Well, they're going to try. Although it looks like the garrison here is rejigged around a lot. Well, you better defend yourself. If not, it looks like I'm going to have to declare war on the Ottomans. So I would like the Russians to do better. So who are the Ottomans actually at war with? Austria, Württemberg, Pirates, Venice, Dagestan, Russia, Morocco and Poland. Everyone. Let's see who they're at war with. Well, I'm definitely going to be declaring on them as well at some point then. Two turns till we get square formation. Or do I just say hell to it? Hell for it. Oh, hell to hell with it. And instead send my army up to take over England. The Ottomans took it. It's popped on the, uh, the map. Maybe I take Britain. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, you've arrived here as well. Instead you're going to go to there. I am aware I did send previous ships to different zones. But it's mainly because I wanted to get the coverage. Okay, one more turn to a square. So sorry there's nothing much going on, but there's nothing I can really do if I'm taking this softly, softly approach. I just don't want Russia to screw this up. But then the Spanish might declare on the Ottomans as well to get Morocco back. Oh no, is this going to be an Ottoman intermission? It's funny because if it is an Ottoman intermission and I have to cut the recording, you guys already know because you see the flag in the boilerplate. But I don't see it because I've not decided to cancel yet. So what I'm going to do is call it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 because I've not seen anything move on screen. So I'm going to hit cut recording and bring you guys back in a second so see you everyone now we're back in the game the russians marched towards istanbul did not they didn't take it they didn't attack it but they marched in that direction So in an ideal world, Spain declares on Morocco, or Spain declares on the Ottomans to get Morocco, they get repulsed, I sweep in and get it on the cheap, and then we pretty much start fighting a war ready to go kill the, the Ottomans. Good square formation, let's send... Just have a look at what's going on. Yeah, that's a lot of troops. Heading in this direction. Fleet arrived. You in the Ivory Coast. Okay, that's a 
Royal Navy. Courland. Crimea. Probably Sweden. Someone else. All right then. Straits of Africa. Uh, the uh, Straits of South America. South America. It is friendly or neutral enemy. Neutral. 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 South America. It is. So got our artillery. Let's get researching plug bayonets to get socket bayonets. And then I'll actually start to feel okay about fighting a war. Yeah, I will chop the recording when the Ottomans get into position, because I don't want to go through that again. Oh, here it comes. See you in a second, everyone. So the Russians, they took Sarajevo, as you can see. But the Russians lost Bulgaria and the army near Istanbul got pushed back. So there's no clear winner yet in the Russian Ottoman War. And that's making me, I think, turn towards it. It's probably the better option to just sail an army to go and take Britain. Because I'm already at war with them. It won't annoy France and Spain. And it also gives me a safe base to conduct operations away from the Ottomans, notionally. Especially if I'm not at war with Spain, the Ottomans won't sail through the gap. Because my ships can get to Ireland in one hop. Hello Rocco, too late. Go to South America with you. I think that's probably how I'm going to do it. But I need to build up my an army in Algiers to spar with whoever how this situation over here resolves itself. So I just want to piece up with Sweden actually. It's probably worth doing. Especially if I go to take Go to take the G go to take GB, then I have to end up fighting against Sweden. That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? But I think that's probably the way to do it. So let's get a couple more twelve pounders. Start to chip into our war fund. How far are we off? Eight turns for a Naba. Eight turns for Tatooine. Okay. You guys may be fed up of these N-turn, this N10 stuff, but I, I assure you, not any more fed up than I am. Especially considering how, how long it takes for the Ottomans. Speaking of, see you and in a second. We're back. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think taking Britain is probably my best option, because I can get there safely. Basically, there's no targets in the Med that I can go for now, and I feel confident that I can win in altercation. The Ottomans, they're sparring with Russia, but they're not losing dramatically to them. The, what, the, the Moroccans have, ra have uh, rebelled. Okay. Oh no, no, don't, don't leave. Nope. 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 Royal Navy just killed someone on that spot. No. Okay. You chaps join up. Come back. There's no trade trade slots that we can actually take advantage of. Keep on moving. One turn to plug bayonets. I'd like ring bayonets, but my main motivation is that our ships with in one turn can get to Ireland. I don't want to go straight for London. I want to go to Ireland and knock down this craft workshop and replace it with a with a uh, seminary. To help generate more priests to help convert the regions. Because right now I don't think there's a, there's another realistically good option. The Ottomans are the Ottomans and they're still powerful. Obviously I'm at peace with the Catholics and that's quite nice. So 
So we've got a Moroccan rebellion, and they are still they are still rebelling. So this this rebel force should get stronger over time. Okay, one more turn for plug bayonets. As is tradition, I'm going to cut the recording. Do, 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 do. So it looks like we're counting on Russia for quite a lot. A, we're counting on Russia to do damage to the Ottomans. And it looks like the Ottomans have taken back Moldavia, or Moldova. And we also need Russia to do some good damage against the Swedish. There we go, we've got Plug Bayonet. That's probably, see, that's going to be enough to take Dublin. But is it enough to take England down the line? I would like more, but judging by my income, I'm not going to get more. So they maybe get a basic bayonets and then start to get some of these advanced advanced uh, economy technologies, especially as we're, we're seemingly stuck at reduced development times for our towns. So this is our sixth rates. Portugal's attacking Spain. <laughs> Portugal's having none of it. Spain's obviously allied with Marathas, New Spain, Poland and France, so you don't want to touch them. But what I will do with one of my sixth rates is have a dry run back up to uh, to England. So by the maths, I've got 900-ish gold, so that's either three more units of three more units of colonial line or four more units of African line. I probably want colonial line to stand up against British regulars. I think that'll do okay. And this episode's probably going to be slightly longer, mainly because you guys are getting smaller segments and I don't mind actually chopping and changing the recording. Um... I can just sit and mess around on my phone while I'm waiting for it to start up again. That, and I'm not really doing anything, so I don't want to have too many episodes of grinding out turns. Because that'd be fairly boring. And we're back. So, there is a risk about leaving, there is a risk about leaving my homeland exposed, but if I straight lined up to Dublin from, with a sixth rate, I can make it. So let's put him in, in Waterford. Dublin is only 2100 through cash, through taxes. Let's move my light galley out. Oh damn, forgot my damn infantry I'm waiting on. Get that board ship. You sail over to Oran, because you can make it. Transfer his army over. My light galley that's outside, you go to this major fishery. God, Portugal's really doing the number. Actually, they, no, they've gone to Cadiz and they've gone around and attacked Cartagena. Actually, first I wanted to disembark these guys. So I can just re-embark them. Wait, are they... Okay. I'm getting confused about the dance I've just done. There we go, this sixth rate now. As a straight shot. 
to Dublin. Or at least it should. You want to drop them off outside the city. But I should be able to go in here. Dump them inside. They can't currently get there, but they can. Move in. Let's harass Britain. And then get back to Waterford. So, we're going to go slightly negative here, but I want to build up something in Algiers to keep an eye on these chaps. But that's the kickoff. There. I'm going to take Dublin, replace Cork with a seminary, then push and try and secure the British Isles quickly. Could have gone straight for London, but thats it's too much to handle, I think, when I'm so weak like this. Still researching bayonets. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode there, because I've I, I have no idea how long this episode is now. I've chopped it so many times, but I think now's a good time to call it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.